Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 170 in the series of basic math. Today we'll solve a problem on the topic of ratio and proportions. Originally, I had planned to do 20 videos on, the, on this topic. We already have done 20 videos. Today is 21st videos, but since originally I had been, I've been putting a tag for 20, hence the 20B. So number 28 is going to be 20A, this is 20B, and we, I'm going to do one more, which is going to be 20C, in the series of 20. Here's the problem. We are told that x plus y, x plus y, we are told, is 30% of 5x. And we are told that the ratio of x to z is 1 to 5. Ratio of x to z is 1 to 5 x plus y is 30% of 5x, the question simply is, what's the ratio of x to y to z, x to y to z. As always, I would like you to do the problem yourself first, pause the video, solve it yourself, once you have the answer, then we'll compare your work against the work that you and I will do together, okay? I'll give you 5 seconds for you to be able to pause and unpause the video, okay? Here we go. All right, let's see what we can do. We are told, we are told that x plus y is 30% of 5x. So there is our first equation. x plus y, x plus y is, is means equals 30%. 30%, I'm just going to write, I'm just going to write 30% as 3 over 10, or 30 over 100, which is 3 over 10, 30% of of means times 5x. Simple enough. That's our first equation. We see 5. The reason I wanted to write down as 3 over 10 is because this makes it easier to take care of this 5. We see 5 on the top, we see 10 on the bottom. Let's divide top and bottom by 5 and it becomes 2, 3 halves. So what we end up here is x plus y equals 3 halves times x. 3 halves times x, which is simple. Uh, I don't know if I need to show you the baby step, but multiply both sides by 2. If you multiply both sides by 2, we can get rid of this 2 and we end up with 3 times x equals 2x, 2x plus 2y. Just open the parentheses. In other words, bring the 2 to the top. And here we have, here we have 3 times x. This 2 cancels out with that 2 and 3 times x, which is simply 3x. Subtract 2x from both sides. This is positive 2x. Subtract 2x from both sides. And that will get rid of this 2x and we end up with 2y equals 3x minus 2x is just x. Why are we doing all this thing? Because we are looking for the ratio of x to y to z. Here we're looking for here we're trying to figure out the ratio of x to z. This equation is made up of x and y. This equation is made up of x and y, the first equation, the first statement. That tells us that we can figure out the ratio of x to y from that equation. Right there we did that. That's it. And that tells us that x divided by y, ratio of x to y, ratio of x to y, if you divide both sides by y, ratio of x to y, the y cancels out and it's just 2 to 1. Oh, I made a mess, haven't I? So this is x and this is 2y, and therefore x to y is simply x to y, bring the y on the bottom, divide this side by y, divide this side by y, it goes away and it's just 2 to 1. 2 to 1. That part is done. Now we concentrate. Now we concentrate on the second statement. The second statement obviously has something to do with x and z. Let's see what we can do there. We are told that x to z, x to z, is is means equals one to five. You with me so far? Well, if x to z is one to five, that implies if we cross multiply, that implies that z equals five times x. Z equals five times x. Are you still with me? 5 times x. We are interest, we're not interested in z. We want to find out, we already have the ratio of x to y. We already have the ratio of x to y. We, we want to find out the ratio of y to z. This is what we need, y to z. We have the ratio of x to y. If you can figure out y to z, we can answer the question. y to z. y, y to z. z, we just found out here. V, z, we just found out is 5x. y to z, z is equal to 5x. Put the 5x in here. Are you still with me? Alright. And that can be written as, that can be written as 1 over 5 times y over x. 
1 over 5 times y over x. y over x is just 1 over 2. x over y is 2 over 1. y over x is going to be 1 over 2. You can put that in here. It's simply 1, one fifth times 1 over 2, which is 1 tenth. That equal, we are done. Now we can do our ratio. Now we can do our ratio. x to y to z. Ratio of x to y is 2 to 1, 2 to 1, and ratio of y, y to z, y to z is 1 to 10, 1 to 10, 1 to 10. There we go. That was one way of doing it. That was one way of doing it. The second part that I did here actually was a very cumbersome, very, very complicated way of doing it, very, very annoying way of doing it. There is actually a direct way, once we have the ratio of x to y, once we have the ratio of x to y, all of this work that we did on the side, we could have obviated all of this, this unnecessary work. Let's do it on the top in a simpler way. I'm going to raise the problem, we're going to do it in a simpler way. Okay, watch what happens. Watch what happens. We know, you know, we know that we're looking for x to y to z. Okay, pay attention here. And we also know the ratio of y x to z, we are told the ratio of x to z is 1 to 5. We have to keep that in mind. So we are doing a simple uh, second method. We have to do this work. This work does not change. This work is the same. It's the, this work that we are going to do differently. But we have to use this information that x to z is 1 to 5. Okay, pay attention. So x to y, x to y is 2 to 1. Let's put it down here. 2 to 1. And then we are told that x to z, x to z is 1 to 5. Pay attention. X is going to get a little tricky x to z is 1 to 5. I'm going to put that information right here. x to z. x to z is 1 to 5. 1 to 5. You see, we, we left this, 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 this thing stays open. 1 to 5. The problem is that, the problem is that we, we cannot just uh, say 2 to 1 to 5 because here we have 2 and here we have 1. These values have to be the same. So 1 to 5 cannot be left as 1 to 5. This number has to agree with that number, which means 1 to 5 has to be looked at as 2 to 10. We, we take this ratio, we take the ratio of x to z and multiply it by 2, we end, instead of 1 to 5 we end up with 2 to 10. Let me redo it because now it's getting too many crosses in there. So x to z was 1 to 5, 1 to 5, you simply cross, get rid of this 1, make it a 2, cross, get rid of this 5 and make it 10. Now we have a 2 that comes down and it's 2 and the 1 simply comes down 2 to 1 to 10. Two to 1 to 10, which is exactly what we found here. Except this was more of a traditional method. This was more of a traditional method. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Fine.